Hey there! I like to make VTuber models and today I wanted to share with you a slime model that I am making, kind of breaking it down. If you like the content, it would mean a lot if you liked and subscribed. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. Let's get into it. So first thing you want to do is that you want to drop in your PSD file. Everything you draw needs to be in its own separate layer. For example, let's say you have a shoulder, arm, and a hand. Those parts need to be separate and they will be on their own layer. Put that into Live 2D and you will see not everything is captured well here. The clips are not clipped to the things they need to be. Anything that was on an add blend mode isn't on add anymore. So I have to go back and manually put them on add. Then I will be hitting control A and adding default deformers to everything. My first step is always to glue everything that needs to be glued together, readjust the placement of items, also make use of some of the draw order if there is something that I know has to be in front of everything at all times or behind everything at all times. For example, the ears. I put that in the way, way back. This is also a good time to just put everything that is in your folders into a warp deformer. So all the mouth items together, all the eyes together, body together, the face. This helps just keep yourself organized and when you look over at your warp deformers, it has some type of grouping. It also helps you establish a hierarchy level. So I would also like, if you have face components and hair components together, put them both in a warp deformer together. Separate the hair and the face stuff in its own deformer. But um, yeah, have something that's like a parent deformer for things like the head movement. And then I start rigging my eye rig. Since this VTuber has multiple eye rigs, I have put them all in a deformer and toggled them with this one parameter so they can just slide through and switch eyes. When I want to test the eye blink, I hit this little mark on the side at the top of the parameter list and then I click on settings for eye blink. And I check the two that are marked as eye open for left and the right, doesn't matter, just put check marks on there. As you can see, these eyes are also very different than how VTubers usually rig eyes. I have a oval shape of the eye color and then in the back, I have a the same exact thing, just a little bit bigger of the eye line. And I was really trying to figure out how best to create their smile face. The person who was going to own this model wanted this like sweet little uh, shape to its happy eye smile. And this was a really easy way for the eye smile, squish the bottom to the shape that I like. I use the Warp Deformer brush in order to do this. I also drag out the inner corners so I can give it kind of a little bit of an arch. I'll talk about this later. Most of the bounce is going to come from the body physics, but I did add this little bit of another bounce to it in the physics. And this is how it looks like. It's very subtle, so I don't really know if you need this. The body physics is where it came super handy to make it extremely bouncy and slime-like. One thing I noticed while you're rigging X face XY is that when you are looking down, your forehead and those eye parts expand and it shortens at the bottom. Looking side to side, one half of your face it should be a little bit wider versus the side that you're looking to shortens just a bit. Most of the jiggle physics for this VTuber isn't even in its own separate parameter. I don't rig on body X, Y. I rig on body physics X and body physics Y. So the movement is controlled by physics in all of my models. This helps add a little bit of bounce so it doesn't strictly go to one side and kind of stop there. It has a bit of a bounce back, which is fantastic for something like a slime. So when I am rigging the model, down, I squish both the top and the bottom middle section and when I rig it to go up, I do the opposite and that gives it a bit of a cute bounce effect. For water too, I have separated them into three different parameters when you move side to side, when it moves up and down and specifically when it moves from one wave to another. This is how it looks like. And ta-da, the baby is done for the most part, though I am still adding a little bit more things. I always save this for last because I just hate doing mouth rigs. So I want to preface this by saying rigging a mouth comes in various different forms. There's so much work, especially when you have two different mouths. So this one does have two different mouths. Depending on the rigger's 
pricing, whatever else. You can have a more expressive mouth. So the one I have right now, this is a V Bridger mouth. Those take a lot more time. There's a lot more parameters and thus are more expensive. This one is a simple mouth, but two different mouths. Those also take up a lot of time. Um, so I'm going to go over it very briefly. Here you have a mouth type toggle. I have the frowny mouth, the smiley mouth, and the no mouth. A good way to remember how to math rig is that when you are at zero for the mouth form, right in the center, you will keep an O shape all throughout your mouth open. So both at the point three and at the one, you keep this O. Then when you are at the end, at one, you have more of an E shape. Your mouth is wider. This is the same for the sad mouth and the happy mouth. And then both of them have a mouth X, so it just moves from side to side. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. This is just how it looks like after all that rigging is done. What you're not seeing here is me gluing the mouth lines and the mouth mask. So a lot of people use a skin layer. I like to use a mouth mask and just invert it. Adjusting the fangs to where they're supposed to be. I use the deform path edit to move the mouth lines into the shapes that I like. Let's test something out together. So you see here... With my mouth open, eyes widen just a bit on my regular model. Well, why don't we try something like that for this model as well? Is for I'm gonna make one for the mad eye and the normal eye. I open mouth. Let's have one for that eye, and then we will do the same for the other eye. There you go. And so as it goes down, we are going to just increase this just a bit so and then does a bath x maybe it does a little bit of this so what i'm trying here is seeing how it moves just a little bit when it i think it's kind of cute but i'm not a hundred percent sure if this is something we want it looks really cute though mine doesn't have it right now but I, I want to see if I want to add this on to my future models. What I do is I just move this a little bit. So kind of like when your cheeks are puffing up and it's scrunching one of your eyes a little bit. Oh, let's see actually our mouth parameters now. Cute, cute, cute. I like it. Ah, and this is how it looks on the mad eye. You can see it a little bit better. It's really cute. Is the other one the mouth open? Teen, 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 teen. Nice. One special thing I'd really like to point out on this model. I have the shadow. You can see here, this is how I warp deformed it on the X. This is how I warp deformed it on the Y. The main point of it is that I have this shadow separated. I wanted to have control over this model as much as I could. There are some shinies that you expect to be separated. Yeah, we kind of saw that coming. This pink shiny could have very well been something that I merged with this model. But I wanted that as you see this mouth going up and down, you see more of that shine. It's not being more. It also is a lot more glam because if I had it merged into the main slime, it would be behind the shadow and that just loses the prettiness of it. Like it would look like this. I don't want that. I want it to be very bright like that. And that concludes an overview of how I made this model. Thanks for joining me on this journey. And thank you very much for us hitting over 10,000 subscribers. Literally a week ago, I was less than 5,000. This is insane, everyone. Thank you so, so much. I hope you had beautiful holidays and ate good food. See you all in the next video.